four, three, two, one, zero. Let's start the party. From hottest topics in the news to one-on-one -on -one interviews and all the hit tunes you want to hear, this is what's hot. It is what's hot with Shamai Cook. I am Shamai Cook. Uh, it is cold outside, but guess what? We're keeping it hot here in the studio. It's what's hot with Shamai Cook. I got my guest co-host, the one and only Miss Beverly Mahone. You may know her from Instagram, and she's a new friend to the show. Welcome. Thank you so much, Miss Mahone, for coming on the show. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much for inviting me. It should be a lot of fun. Yes, yes. And you you are a radio veteran. You said you haven't been, you haven't been doing this in 20 years, but uh, it's okay. We're, we're going to have a fun show, and I appreciate you for coming on today. On today's show, as every show, we, got, we have you covered with the hot headlines, the hot report. And um, on today's show, we have an NCCU uh, professor. Professor, Mr. Brett Chambers, he's going to be here talking to us, and he's actually a NABJ member of um, here in the Raleigh Durham area, um, and he's a part of a lot of other things, and he's going to be spreading his knowledge of what it takes to be in this uh, this broadcast business. So hopefully you guys tune in for that. Um, as but uh, first, as always, as we do every show, we're going to start the show off with some positivity, giving somebody the credit they deserve for being great in a segment called the Hot Spotlight. But first, his Kill Bill Scissor. Here on NCCU Audio Net, it's What's Hot with Shamai Cook. Sizzle, Kill Bill. Here on NCCU Audio Net, it's What's Hot with Shamai Cook. I am Shamai Cook. I got my special guest co-host, Miss Beverly Mahone, in the building. How you doing, Miss Bev? Auntie I'm Bev? alive and kicking. Uh, oh, that's, that's the, <laughs> Any day I'm... above ground is a good day. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So does that start the show off as we do every show with some positivity, giving somebody the credit they deserve for being great. So today, I'm going to give the hot spotlight to um, Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, because, you know, we had Monday off due to his birthday his national holiday um, and I want to give him the credit because he has a outstanding legacy for you know distributing civil rights for African Americans in, um, in America and across the world as well and you know he it was a definition of black excellence along with you know his help of of his wife and supporter um, uh, credit Coretta uh, Scott King and he has done so much uh, great. I'm, I am in the school system because of him, because of his advocacy. And, you know, I'm able to do this show because with, back in the day, I couldn't. People that look like me and Auntie Bev could not do things that we are doing today. And that's because of Dr. King. And we, I'm forever grateful for his uh, his sacrifices and for what he did for our nation and for the culture. Um, now, Auntie Bev, who are you going to give the hot spotlight to? Well, he's not as great as Dr. King yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Okay. However, I want to give a hot spotlight shout out to my 17-year-old grandson, Gerard. Okay. Gerard is the reason Auntie Bev was created on TikTok wow. three years ago. Yeah. Uh, this young man uh, saw a gift in me that I really didn't recognize. Mm. Not to that degree. Gotcha. And suggested that I use that gift to teach his peers mm. how to better communicate. I resisted. I resisted. <laughs> but he guided me through. Okay. He helped me understand mm. uh, more about algorithms, about how to relate to young people. Gotcha. And because of his tenacity, because he was very tenacious now <laughs> in trying to get grandma on the TikTok. <laughs> um, I have to salute him and I am forever grateful and I believe that uh, he's destined for greatness and oh. even if he doesn't recognize it now because he doesn't see his greatness mm -hmm. he doesn't see it he just sees he's helping grandma mm, that's all he sees all he doesn't he sees. see it as a real business he's just like Oh, you know, I remember when grandma had like 17 followers and she got like five clicks. And now I have like over 2 million followers and I'm getting all of these likes. And so he just sees it from that perspective. Oh, that's that, that's that's a sweet. That's just the sweetest. I love, you know, my I was very close with my great grandmother. She passed um, when I was a freshman in uh in high school. And I love like this. I just love the relationship of a grandson and a, a great and a grandmother i just love that and 
You know, I love I love that for you, Monty Bev, and good, good for you. And shout out to your grandson. Now, if you want to give someone the uh, spotlight, the hot spotlight, um, to give them the credit they deserve for being great, call us up nine one nine five seven nine two four 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 is the number. Uh, up next, we got you covered with the hot headlines, um, and you know. Dr. Uh, Johnson Akalele, he uh, he announced his retirement, the chancellor of NCCU. Um, that's next. Is what's hot with Jamaica? You're listening to what's hot on NCCU Audience. 